let's address the next issue with this ladder. You can see here, the ladder doesn't close all the way. When this ladder is folded down, this channel right here should be flat against the other channel. And the reason is, is when they ground this out right here, you know, of course they missed it by a mile where the actually where they actually needed to grind it out. See that spacer right there that goes around the bolt? It's hitting right here and of course the same on the other side. So instead of grinding all this out right here, all that out right there, they should have just ground a little bit right there. I'm going to open this up and show you how far off it is. You can see on the other end, it's good. See how it sits flat there? See, it just goes down and sits flat, no problem. Let me open this up. Hold on. All right, now you get the idea. They took all this material out of here. Why? I'm not really sure instead of just taking just this little bit out. You can see on the other side, it's not even close to being the same shape. I, I <laughs> this is like a half of a circle. This one's like a ramp. They both, both do the same thing. I just don't can see the other side compared to this side. I marked what material needs to be taken out, so. I don't know if I'm gonna to try to fill this back in. I don't really think it really matters for strength. But I'm gonna get the die grinder, take some of this material out and see if I can get it to fold flat. So as you can see, just with a little bit of uh, grinding there in the right spot, the ladder sits flat. I think that's what's frustrating about all of these things that I'm repairing. This is just kind of like a lack of detail, a lack of attention to detail. I mean, let's go look at the other side. Same thing here. Sits perfectly flat now. I took off, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch out of there. What I got going this morning is I'm making the pieces that extend out from the slider to hook onto the onto the steps itself. These are the originals and what I didn't like about them is the pivot was too close to the, the front of the slider and it would get in the way of the flatbed itself when it would pivot down. So what I'm doing is just taking a pair of, or a piece of square stock like this and just recreating these holes. Now this, another problem this was, <laughs> well if I could talk this morning, another problem that this had was that these were recessed almost an eighth of an inch or maybe even more uh, below the surface of the back of this slider. And that caused this to rub against the flatbed. You can see all the scratches here on both sides. So I need to make sure that this is flush with the top. This and this are on the exact same plane. So when it folds, it is flat. I cut this piece and just drilled this hole in the front. I'm gonna see, just by kind of test fitting it in here, how flush it is. Just kind of eyeballing it. And then once I get the level here, Tighten this up, put the spacer in, get the level here so it's flush on the, t on the front and back. And then I'll measure their lengths to exact length here, cut them off, and then weld them on. Okay, that's gonna do it, I think. Yep. Perfect, now I just gotta line this hole up and drill it. Okay, that looks perfect. Let's see how long this is. This is 10 and, oh boy, just basically seven eighths. Oh, well, got lucky, 10 and seven eighths, exactly. 
That's pretty nice. We're going to find the center between these two, mark the center of the slider, and then figure out where we're going to weld these on. Then I got to clean, set it up, clean everything up, and tack it on. I took the uh, sliders off the sides here that I milled. I didn't want to take a chance of melting them. This is the piece that I made where the ladder, I flipped the ladder over so now it's laying on its top. This is the top of the slider, this is the right hand side. I'm going to take these two tubes here, this one, and that one over there. I mark the center, and then the width that these are, which is 27 and a quarter is the width of these. Of course, <laughs> when I took it apart I realized that they put a spacer in here that's thinner than the spacer that's over there. But I was going to make new spacers anyway, but so I put a little, I don't know if you can see the washer down in there. I put another washer in there to, to mimic the width of that spacer so the spacing would be perfect on both sides. Anyway, so I'm going to clean all this up, make sure it's perfectly square on both sides, and then TIG weld this on. All right, all the welding's done. Looks like it uh, turned out okay. Get a quick measurement here. Yep. Right on the money. Everything's square. So just clean up the welds. Okay, let's put the ladder on. I'm just going to cut these bolts now. Now, this is ridiculous. Let's see what the extra length is. Shimony. Three quarters of an inch. I'll cut both of them down. Come back. Okay, I gotta cut these down too, so might as well just test fit them in here. And this one I'm gonna go in there, and this wider one go over here, I guess. Let's see how much I gotta cut off, because these are way too long too. Five eighths got to come out of here. Okay, bolts are cut to length, or closer to the length they should have been in the first place.
Let's see if it pivots. I'll oh, probably have to put some Loctite on there. Hey, look at there. Lori made it just in time. Let's see if it fits. I have high hopes. Yeah, we'll see. You wanna grab this other side, huh? see. Now this is going to be the, the test if those rails are parallel. Let's see. And they're not. Look. And that's as far as it goes. Oh yeah. Just like I thought. So obviously <clears throat> yep. They're not parallel. Nope. So, that means I have to take even more off the sliders, off the sides of the sliders, uh, to make them thinner. Well, that's just a bummer. Because otherwise it fits perfect. Did you expect anything less though, really? I mean, seriously. So, there you go. So we gotta take it back out, thin the sides down, and uh, put it back in there. Oh boy, and you wonder if it, that continues to get thinner and thinner as it goes in there, you know? Because I would imagine the height is probably good. You know, I mean, it is a, it is a channel. I don't think they probably screwed that up. They probably just screwed the width up. So, okay, let's take it back out. Okay, this is what it looks like off the truck. You can see the frame extension here that they put onto it, and then the subframe underneath. The issue is, is these two rails, you can see how parallel they are. What you got, Lori? 32 and um, 3 eighths. 32 and 3 eighths right there. Mm -hmm. So come back here in the middle and see what you got. 32 and 3 eighths. Mm -hmm. 32 and a little bit shy of three-eighths. How much shy? Try to get it straight on there. So put it up against the stop right here. So 32 and... and it's off of 16. Five sixteenths it is? Yeah, yep. that's off of 16. Right, well that's not too bad. Yeah. I can. Let's make a piece of wood at the exact width back here and slide it in and see what it looks like. Okay, so that's the exact width of the piece that we have now. Where is it hanging up? <laughs> Hold on. So it's hanging up. Make sure well, you try to keep it I in know, there straight. It's not straight. Yeah. Easy, easy. Don't yank the camper off. It's Jack's. Oh, gee. <laughs> You're like Power Woman in there. Okay. I'll just be very gentle. Yeah. Here we go. This is even right there. I'm gonna have to close the door right. so I can get this on video. Right there. So. So where does it hang up? Yeah, I'm trying to keep it even. Right there. Right there. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Now so, let's go cut a little bit off on the table saw. We'll take a little bit off and see if it'll slide through there easier. Is there any slag in those channels on? Do you feel any? Any weld spatter or anything no, that's hanging up no. on? Is the channel smooth? Both I'll channels? Double check, but now pull that out of there and give it back to me. Yeah, it's smooth. How about the tops and the bottoms? Yeah. Go all the way down the length of the camper and see what you can find. If there's anything. I'm going to go cut this down just a touch and see what happens.
There's a little bit of splatter here. I don't know if this is enough. And this is bad here, but does that little bit matter? Yeah, any spatter, yeah. Oh yeah, that's that'll that's hang bad up for there, sure. But this that's where we were. So let's try yeah. I'll get the file and we'll clean that off. Okay. But try that board in there now. It took about sixteen dollars. on going. Um, See if it'll go all the way. It's probably weld spatter in there, isn't there? Yeah. yeah it doesn't slide very well on, on weld spatter, does it? No. Huh. Probably should have cleaned that up before they put the uh, slider in, huh? Um, this, I think, is it's hooked even with the splatter. It's still... Um, I mean, we'll take the splatter out, but I mean, it could be the splatter because it's right where it is. Okay, well, let's get the file out and take it off. You might be able to use the side wheel of the uh, grinding wheel. Let me get that. Let's see. You want to hold this for me? Oh yeah, there's a lot of splat spatter on the top too, see it? Ooh, right here, but yeah. does that impact it? No, up there it doesn't, but on the top of that channel it will. Okay. I've turned this sideways, so. Okay. All right, let's try it again. All right. Oh, right in the corner. Right in the corner there's a piece. You have to put that wheel in that corner, huh? You need the light? Yeah. You have to turn it upside down, that way you can get it. Put it in the corner upside down. farther than it was. Hmm. Well, looky, looky. There it is. How much slop does it have in there? How much side to side slop? Easy, easy. Don't shake the camper off the jacks. <laughs> Man, you're like super powerful up there or something. It doesn't move. Okay, great. Let me pull it out. All 
right. That is money right there. Side. Duh. Well, I can tell you one thing. It's gonna be uh I mean it just clears the top. So um hmm. It's gonna be interesting to try to figure out how to make a door for it. One thing I wish one thing I wish is that these Delrins right here, look, see how much side to side slop there is? Why don't you make new ones? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna make new ones for those. Because, I mean, that, that could be a lot better, you know, look at that. There's no, there's no reason for that. I've got plenty of dough and it's almost, look, it almost falls off the side there. It's so, it's got so much side to side slop in it. Would, had you considered making them bigger so it doesn't make it? Well, it's got to clear the, the uh, stop. It can't be thicker this way because it's got to be, it's got to clear the stop, but it can be longer. That's what I mean. Because I notice when you're putting it in, these are short and then it's, you have trouble getting them. Yep. All right. Another project. <laughs>